Hey Gemini, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you had a good week too. So we're gonna use uh, these Oracle cards here Ooh, and we'll see what messages the universe and spirit has for you and they're eager to get going. So we have blessed. So I feel like you're definitely blessed. And this card speaks for all the wonderful things that you have in your life and being able to recognize that as well. I also have exchanging gifts. I feel like this exchanging gifts card is speaking to somebody in your life who you are blessed to have, who's gonna be offering you something that's going to help. I have all that glitters. Uh, so I feel like maybe you're working towards something This all that glitters might represent that goal. It might be uh, money, it might be a new home, a new career, uh, something, uh, maybe even love, something that you're working towards. I have a round and round. So round and round speaks of cycles and sometimes the need to break cycles. So it might be something that you're after and you can't quite attain it. It might be a need to try something different and somebody's gonna help you to break a cycle here. I also have serendipity, interesting. So I feel like it's speaking to a chain of events, something that's going to happen, uh, that's gonna sort of break you out of this round and round and set you on the right path. I feel like it definitely involves a someone though with this exchanging gifts. I have the Knight of Swords. I see White Knight when I look at that card. I feel like that's who this person is. This person's gonna be bringing this opportunity. They're gonna feel like a White Knight to you. Wheel of Fortune represents your fortunes changing for the better. So change is coming. Good, positive, wonderful change is coming your way. I also have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords represents feeling trapped or stuck in negative emotions or thoughts so much so that you have trouble finding clarity, finding wisdom. I believe that it definitely ties into this round and round card and sort of uh, maybe a way of thinking, a way of being, a, a cycle of behavior that definitely needs to be broken here, guys. The Lover's card. Hmm interesting so we might be speaking about finding love and maybe this was this exchanging gifts is all about this might also speak to heartbreak from a breakup that we're dwelling on and our thoughts go round and round uh, about this person that we lost and we're having trouble sort of breaking away from those feelings I have the page of pentacles which represents good news on the way pentacles does tend to speak to finances I don't know that we're talking about finances in this read uh, the moon card the moon card is an unknown, so elements that still have to come into play and the universe is not going to share that information with me because she knows I will blab it all to you. I have the seven of swords. The seven of swords represents a feeling of unfairness, like something was taken from you unfairly. You know what? I feel like it ties into this round and round. This nine of swords is something that somebody's uh, sort of, I don't really want to use the word dwelling because it, it feels really negative. And somebody's having a hell of a time breaking out of these thoughts. It just keeps playing over and over again in their head. And it might be this all that glitters as well. This goal that they're working towards that maybe they see that somebody else has and they just want for themselves. I have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant speaks of a higher learning. It can speak of an institution. It can also speak to a mentor as well. And the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands represents a new beginnings, a new life. It can speak to a new business venture. Um, definitely talking about a new beginning though. And I feel like someone is going to help to bring this new beginning about. The Queen of Wands. She represents passion, ambition, and drive. And the Queen of Pentacles. This is where it's coming from. It's the Queen of Pentacles because one of the qualities that go with the Queen of Pentacles is generosity. So this Queen of Pentacles is going to be giving some sort of a gift that I believe is going to help this Queen of Wands to find her ambition and find her goal. The Five of Wands. The Five of Wands represents conflict. So I feel like it's speaking to this inner conflict, the Seven of Swords, the unfairness, the being trapped in the thoughts like the Nine of Swords and the round and round cycle. Uh, and, and sort of just like I said, going round and round, dwelling, not being able to move forward to shake those, those gross feelings. I have the Magician card who represents having all the tools that you need to be successful in life. He speaks of a need for self-confidence, for believing in yourself. And you know what, guys? This might be the gift that the Queen of Pentacles gives. She might give uh, that emotional feeling that you can do this. You, whoever that person was in the past, if we're talking about a breakup and having trouble moving past it, obviously they weren't meant to be your soulmate. Uh, otherwise, they'd still be around, which means, guys, that somebody better is out there waiting for you. And I have the Two of Swords as well. So this Two of Swords uh, represents a feeling of having trouble moving on, having trouble finding clarity. I do believe 
firmly believe that this Queen of Pentacles is going to help with it. I feel like this is a huge part of this gift that she's going to be giving. It's like a new way of thinking, breaking this person out of their cycle so that they can be able to see a positive opportunity that's going to be coming their way. Whatever this moon card is that the universe will not freaking tell me about, this is coming, but this person's mind and heart and soul needs to be cleared out first to be able to recognize and receive this moon card. Alrighty guys, that is what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Remember, if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I will throw your name into the draw. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care.